Hi there guys, so here's the follow-up video regarding the Kodachrome and Caffanol, um experiment that went awry with a little bit of further experimentation using um, a C41 AGFA colour film uh, developed in uh, Caffanol. Now <clears throat> what we have down here, this strip, is the the original recipe um, which used nowhere near enough soda crystals um, and as you can see the same results that we got with the Kodachrome which is here just for reference you can see nice and nice and clear and empty and devoid of anything image wise um, and we got the same results with the C41 so it looks as if that uh, that was the case regarding uh, the original problem. Now um, I'm going to whip that one out of the way and put this one in here and this is a comparison one. I need to try and wedge this. I'll just hold that for now. Now this is a comparison one um, with this is all these are all clips of the same 24 exposure uh, film reel which I cut into strips and developed individually. This top one is developed in Caffanol CL for 70 minutes at approximately 20 degrees. Now the temperature sort of varied um, 20 down to about 18 degrees. I didn't keep too consistent to check on that and the temperature here in Scotland currently is cold. So you know the, the tap water, the cold tap water is coming out at like 9 or 10 degrees at the moment just to give you an idea in uh, possibly lower. So it's pretty down cold in here and uh, and as a result my uh, my testing dark room uh, as were uh, was very cold so the temperature started off around 20 maybe dropped to about 18 so this was caffeinol CL and developed for 70 minutes semi stand two inversions at the halfway point and this one was was first washed with the soda crystals as I did with the original Kodachrome to remove the Remjet because I wanted to see if that had an effect on the development process afterwards and, uh, and obviously as you can see here it had no effect whatsoever this one here is with the pre-soda wash so that's um, that's soda crystals, a couple of teaspoons of soda crystals, 250 ml of water and uh, and that was at about 20, somewhere between 20 and 24 degrees and that was a remjet removal wash, obviously there's no remjet on this, it's just standard C41 film but it was to see if the soda crystals affected the emulsion, which obviously it didn't. This one below was just had a standard pre-wash with uh, with just 20 degree temperature water which it sat in for a couple of minutes prior to the developer. So as you can see between the two the process for development was exactly the same. Caffeinol CL 20 minutes 20, 20 down to maybe 18 degrees 70 minute stand, uh, semi stand inversion, an inversion at the halfway point, two inversions rather at the halfway point and that's the result and it's quite a, a flat thin negative if you will, um, but a reasonably good tonal range overall. Um, I feel like it's maybe a little bit overdeveloped and I think what I'm going to do next time I try stand development is try it at about 60 minutes instead. Now with this recipe what I did was I used 2.6 times the amount of soda crystals which was which is a decahydrate. I did that for the simple reason that I baked some in the oven until it got rid of all the moisture and weighed it. I put 10 grams in and I got 3.9 grams out or something like that if, if memory serves. I know it, I know it's equated, it calculated to about 2.6 times and the Caffeinol cookbook says to use 2.7 times. Uh, I sort of erred on the side of my calculations and went with 2.6 times. So maybe I will try one with 2.7 times which will just give a little bit more and see what happens with that. So top two as, as uh, I said the previous one 
as you saw was clear was with not enough soda crystals this one is with the correct recipe but this one the top one is with the soda crystal and water pre-wash which removes remjet the bottom one is without or the one below it is without they both give pretty much the same results this one is maybe a smidge more contrasty which could just very well be to do with the water may have been a bit warmer in this one than in this one but uh, but there's really not much in it not much in it at all this one below this very very dark one that you're looking at was developed in Rodinal uh, or RO9 um, because the obviously original Rodinal is no longer available but uh, but Rodinal as it's uh, as it is today uh, with a 1 plus 100 dilution at 60 minutes semi stand two inversions at the halfway point very very contrasty very strong contrast on this one much stronger than I've uh, I've actually gotten before strangely enough when I've used Kodak C41 film so whether it's just the the type of C41 I don't know um, but um, but yeah much higher contrast uh, as you can see and when I show the scanned results uh, shortly you'll you'll see uh, the effect that that had as well now just for interest sake down here I've got another strip which as you can see is pretty clear it's got a little dark area there which means that this could have been the part of the film leader um, this this was maybe part of the the bit that was stuck out of the cartridge when I loaded it into the camera. Uh, oh, just for the um, just for relevance, because I was shooting in fairly subdued light, I needed something that I could use a, short, a slow shutter speed on. And this entire roll was shot on my Canon AT1, which I know gives good consistent metering results. Um, it was on a tripod using a shutter release and uh, the scene was metered and then I literally just shot one frame off after the other and advanced it right the way through to get all these results so it's all exactly the same frame all exactly the same metering very very little difference in the light if any at all um, and uh, and there you go so as I say this dark bit here may possibly have been a bit of the film leader I'm not sure but what I did what I did with the development for this was I had read on the Caffanol group about somebody developing a printed paper, black and white printed paper, in, uh, in Caffanol and then trying various substitutes for the coffee and then eventually trying it without the coffee completely. And out of curiosity I thought, I wonder what would happen if I were to mix up the soda crystals, the, the uh, sodium uh, bromide and just the vitamin C without the coffee and that's what I did and this is the result I got and I'm not entirely sure why or the whys and wherefores of that I was just curious to see if it worked on paper as somebody in the Caffanol group had said it it would I was curious to see if it would actually work on film uh, seemingly not uh, possibly it might do with some adjustment of the ingredients I don't know but uh, but there you go that's just vitamin C no coffee this is Kodak VR200 that, um, that I shot. Um, this was also shot on the Canon AT1 as a matter of fact. So um, contrasty but I don't, I don't think personally it's quite as contrasty as this one. So as I say it could just be the type of colour film, it could have just been the conditions because this was in my conservatory and uh, Obviously I've got light coming in through the window here and but quite a lot of shadow areas and what have you as well so it's, it's a tricky scene to, to average out for metering I guess. So at that point I am now going to skip to, uh, to the scans of the image so you can have a look at the scans. This scan shows the first image that was washed in the original soda concoction which would remove Remjet on a Remjet based film and then developed in Caffanol CL with semi-stand development 70 minutes with an inversion at the halfway point. 
This scan had the same development, the semi-stand Caffinol CL, uh, but with a normal pre-wash. This just involved um, a pre-soak, rather, in, uh, in development temperature water for two minutes prior to development. As you can see, between the two images, there's little to no difference. This image that you see here is developed in my default developer, which is Rodinal, or RO9. Um, it's, uh, it's universally known as Rodinal, although, although Rodinal, technically speaking, is not available anymore. This was stand development, 60 minutes, uh, 1 plus 100 dilution. At this point here, we're going to see a comparison between all three images. So we have the first one and the second one. The one on the left being the one that's developed with uh, the pre-soda wash and the one on the right without. And then the one appearing just now underneath is the one developed in the RO9 solution. Now here we see the images in the same order, but what we're looking at here is a 100% crop in the centre portion of the image. This is the one with the soda wash. Now here's a 100% crop of the following image, which is without the soda wash. Um, as you can see, it is a little bit darker, a little bit more contrasty, but really not much in it. And that's probably more down to the temperature variation than, uh, than anything else, I think. And the final image is the one developed in the RO9. As you can see, it's much more contrasty but um, also a much finer grain structure than the two previous images.